everyone, Leo Bond here. I'm back again today, and this time I'm taking a look at the Protocol Galileo Quadcopter Drone. Now, first I'll just show you the box. It's real big, real nice. Got a little handle there on the top. Easy to carry. Nice picture of the drone on the front. Not too bad at all. But we're going to put that away and take a look at some of the accessories. So, I'm going to get into the uh, controller and the camera in just a little bit, but uh, as far as the smaller stuff goes, you have four rotors here in case you lose one or break one. You also have four rotor guards. There's a very nice little instruction book. Uh, I also have a French copy here, uh, in, in Canada at least. It's got about uh, nine or ten pages of stuff. You should definitely read this before you get started so that you don't uh, have any incidents. Um, and finally, the charging system. So you've got your standard wall adapter here, and then the other end plugs into this here. And, of course, your battery, which comes all the way out of the drone, plugs into this part right here. Now, supposedly, a 200-minute charge will get you 7 minutes of flying time. But I've been doing better than that. I've been getting about 10 or 12 minutes of flying time, although I have been on the lowest uh, power speed setting, so that's probably why. Now, here I am outside earlier today flying, and this is from the drone's point of view. We'll have more of this at the end of the video. Now, let me just show you how the rotor guards go in as we move over to the drone itself. Very easy, you just shove them right in there. There's a couple of screw holes in the bottom and there are screws included so you can attach them more permanently if you want to. But I've been just taking them in and out uh, pretty much as needed. Now the drone itself is very nice. It's got this black and gray color scheme. Uh, it's about a foot and a half or so across. It flies really nice, really smooth, steady. Um, normally I'm a terrible pilot with these things and I haven't had too many incidents with this at all. So very, very nice. Let's just turn her over and get a look at the bottom here. So there's some flashing lights. You've got uh, red on one side, green on the other. That was your on and off switch right there. This little hole here is where the camera plugs in, and I'll just show how that works. So basically the camera just goes right into this little slot here, and then you just plug this part in there, and you're good to go. Take that out. Now the battery is hidden in this compartment here. See it there? It's just a standard rechargeable battery, blue one, and this is the part that plugs into the uh, the charger system, so that's not too bad. Now, also, in addition to the rotor guards, the legs are not attached when you first receive the drone, so you do have to put them on yourself as well, two screws in each one. The whole assembly for this thing only takes five or ten minutes, really not long at all, and you're out there flying. Let me just close this little hatch back up. And as always, um, for a more detailed review, I do, my written reviews are always a little bit more detailed, so on the Best Buy plug-in blog, Best Buy Canada, I'll put the link uh, below for that and you can check that out. And let's move on to the next section. The next thing I want to take a look at is the Galileo's transmitter or controller. Uh, it's a 2.4 gigahertz four channel radio system. That seems pretty typical among some of the better remote control toys that I've tested. Uh, it does look like there's a fair bit going on. It's maybe a bit intimidating at first, but it's really not that difficult to use once you get started. This button, this button, and this button, basically those all control fine tuning aspects of some of your other uh, controls like forward and backward, side to side, stuff like that. So I don't worry about those too much until you're actually out in the field trying to get a feel for your copter. This one is more of interest to me. Uh, it's actually the camera control. So you just give it a little push up to take a still photograph or a little push downwards to start a video and also to end a video. So that's pretty important. Um, up here you have basically your speed selection control. So you have three different speed possibilities, low, medium, and high. So in low speed, you have access to 40% of the Galileo's total speed. And it's uh, basically it can go six and a half kilometers an hour. So that's roughly four miles an hour. Not overly fast, which is actually a good thing. I like that. Uh, makes it easier to keep it under control and not lose it in a, in a tree, which is my typical thing. Um, up here you have a 3D stunt button, so you press that one just before you're getting ready to do some fancy stunts. You want to be at least 10 feet up in the air for that, and then you can start uh, doing things, loop-de-loops and all kind of stuff. Uh, I haven't been brave enough to give those a go yet. Um, here's your on and off switch. And as you can see, a little indicator light comes on there in blue. It's kind of flashing. And one thing that I really find interesting about this is this LCD display. 
And it has 17 different pieces of information in there once you're out flying. Up in the top right hand corner, I don't know if you can notice it, but that's actually a, ba a battery power indicator. So interesting stuff there. It really makes this thing feel kind of uh, professional and fancy. And of course your main controls are your left and right joystick here. So this one here is for throttle, basically lift off and landing. Uh, don't put it all the way down when you're ready to land because basically you kill your uh, your your motors and then she's just going to drop right over this guy. So kind of ease her down, sort of slow. And left and right is basically going to turn your drone side to side. So basically if you uh, say this was your drone and you go to the left, she'll turn like this. And you push her back over to the right and she'll turn back like this. So that gives you really excellent control. Now this one here is basically for your... Uh, directional stuff so moving forward moving backwards moving side to side um, and if you find that you want to go forward and you're not facing the right direction you can just like I say use this one here to turn the way you want and then uh, get yourself going the way you want to go now on the back that's where your battery uh, compartment is here and she takes four double A's pretty simple stuff easy panel back there and really that's all there is to this controller is your an uh, your antenna at the top Pretty basic stuff and not nearly as intimidating as it at first would appear. Now let's just take a look at the Galileo's camera and camera accessories. So the first thing we have here is called the camera hanger and you can easily understand why it hangs directly from the bottom of the drone via this black clip here. And it also offers a fair amount of protection to the outer edges of your camera. You just close it around the camera, lock it into place just like that and she's good to go. Now the camera itself, very small as you can see, I have included a Canadian quarter for scale. Um, of course, uh, pretty much the same size as a U.S. quarter. Now, it is HD, so it does take fairly nice quality photos, and also video, which is pretty cool. Um, not too much to look at, just very basic stuff. Just black around the edges, there's where your little SD card goes there. And actually, this is your SD card, it's 4 gigabyte, So, not massive, but it will hold a fair amount of data, and, you know, definitely enough uh, photos while you're having your little 7 or 8 minute flight around town, and then you can just transfer over to your computer with this thing here. It's basically a little converter or adapter. You plug the microchip in this end and this other end just goes into a standard USB port. So pretty easy stuff. And all this wire is, is this is just your attachment to the drone. So this part goes into the top of the camera and this goes into the bottom of the drone and you're all set to go. Okay, just a couple of final notes before we uh, end off and go into our flight footage here. So I mentioned this here little converter or whatever you want to call it before that plugs into your computer. Here's what the chip uh, looks like, the SD chip in it. And what I didn't mention is that this would not fit into the USB port on my MacBook for some reason. It did fit into my wife's computer, so we were able to get the, the video and stuff. And in a second, what we're going to do is I'm going to show two video clips of the uh, actual drone flying. So at first, it will be my point of view ground up, sort of looking at the, the drone in the air. That one's a little bit under a minute or so. And then there's another one of the drone's point of view looking back at me, which is very cool. We shot it with a little camera there, so we're going to check that out. But uh, just before we do that, I just want to show what the battery looks like outside of the drone. You can see how it uh, how it hooks up here. So just like uh, just like that, and then you just kind of stuff it in there, which isn't the easiest thing to do. But uh, also. One, one thing that really impressed me, now it comes with this little uh, screwdriver and screws to attach the legs and the uh, the rotor guards and stuff, and if you have big fingers like me, it's very difficult to get your screwdriver or your fingers in there to put that second inner screw in, but since the screwdriver and the screws are magnetized, it was very easy to do that, so I was very impressed with that. So a lot of good things about this drone that I really like. And uh, let's go on and look at the, um, the footage. And I just want to thank you for watching and have an excellent day.